Hello everyone and welcome to a smash look at Blue Reality Fred here as always and this is a game by 2SD Studios and you may be thinking wait a minute didn't you yeah yeah you'd be right Bloop has been reborn, should I say. This is a, a sort of sequel-ish thing. Now, I'm happy to see, though, there's some really, really nice improvements. Graphically, it's kind of, you know, it's a bit more vibrant, some good stuff in there, nice level editor, and all that good stuff. Anyway, let us continue. Anyone who doesn't know what Bloop Reloaded is, it is a physics-based puzzler. That it's a sequel to Bloop that I done a smash look a wee while ago. Anyway, into the options. Like before, there was a, a little menu you can choose, you know, your resolution, uh, monitor set, what it's set on and whatnot. But you actually have an options menu within the game, which has actually got some nice things like master volume, music volume, sound volume, all split, oral quality, and healing, and some random nice stuff. And it's just nice to see that sort of add in there. Anyway, if I just go back, what you go in this little cross up here, you get credits, level editor, and play. Play is going to be your main thing of anyway. Let's get into it. So, the design is overall a bit different the way this looks here. You've got the vials and you have to fill them up by doing the levels. I've gotten quite a bit into it. Something I would say is a good point to me. I found the game seems to be a little bit more forgiving. In the sense it adds a lot more to it. Like there's, you've got to like create different flu uh, bloops, fluid, goo, stuff. And it seems that the style they've gone for is like it's a bit more, you know, the quirkiness is still there, but it seems a lot faster. You can, you, you tend to like work out, or it's just I've just gotten used to it, you know, it could be just that, you know. Anyway, I'll start from, you know, the first couple and then we'll move on to the sort of harder levels. So let's say this. Anyway, your level requirements, you got, you know, already an infantry, this is what you're going to have to be playing with, and the missing ingredients. You have everything you need, let's go! Let's do this! I, I just love the sort of general quirkiness and the background music going on. Quirky little soundtrack, and you just have this, you know, once upon a time in an unnamed fancy universe, there was a shopkeeper who was out of potions, and it was a pretty big deal since he sold nothing but potions. Guess what? You are that shopkeeper. At least for now. End of story. And I'm an extremely untalented story writer. It's better for both of us if we just, if I just shut up, believe me. Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously, boo. Press any key. Pop. You get it's just all the nice little styles things going there. It's really, really cool. Anyway, welcome to Bloop Reloaded. So you create platforms. And what I'm going to try and do, you know, I will kind of compare it to its predecessor. But I'm also going to be like, you know, this is what this game is. So you're creating platforms. Uh, if I just do this down here. I'm also going to create one there. Yep, let me. Let, you're not going to let me do that. I, I get the point. Yes, I get it. The... There we go. You fill up the veil, and that is you. Now, I do find that the controls seem quite a bit more refined. Like it was, you know, you're drawing lines and that, but it seems like things are a lot more refined in this. And with the addition of the nice options, graphically, like the actual bloop is a. I don't know what it is. Just graphically, it is different. I will leave a link down below in the description if you want to check out Bloop 4, but it does seem very quite different and just nicer. Like, it just reacts better. The game looks better, which is, you know, ideally what you want. Anyway, let's go to the next level, which is as simple as clicking that, and you select whatever you wish. I'll just say, uh, I'll go a couple along. Flask of Jealousy. So we're going to have this. What you can do in the game is I can press this and go to Recipes, and it shows you a bunch of stuff you're going to be able to unlock and what they do. I, I, oh, just hit back there and then we'll go to continue. Now, we've got two veils here. We can scroll up the top. You can actually go all the way up. This I like how it's just, I mean, like before it was just kind of platforms. Now this have got just the added little things like silhouettes. It looks really, really nice. Now, how did I want to do this again? How did I do this again? I got this one okay, I think. If I was to do this, and then bring it along there, if I was to then do this, no, that's not going to work. If it was to, like, shoot over, uh, like so, and along here. Now, you do actually have the same ability to drag stuff around by right-clicking, which is quite nice. But the way this is, it's sort of fine-tuned it, like, you have, like, asteroid, like, all things that pop up you need to collect because you can only do it for so long you need to collect them to continually do it 
Let's press play and see if this actually works. I'm not sure, sure that's going to work, is it? Ah, it did, yes. Get in there. So you can pick it up. And I find it's a lot more responsive. That's a cube I was talking about. Like, I can drag this actually out here. But I find it's a lot more responsive than holding on to. Like, before it just seemed like, you know, it could fall apart quite easily. Get in there. There we go. Anyway, next level. And I like just the sort of sequences between each are just really, really nice. So, mechanically wise, you know it's getting your, your bloop from A to B. That's what it falls down to. But you're going to have a variety of different traps and stuff in the way. And I'm going to go to... I'll go to this one. Hopefully it is this one. Still got fireworks going off in the background for some bloody reason. Anyway, this has gravity to be used. So, we need to get this from there to there. Which seems a lot easier than it actually is. So, um, I'm going to want to draw a line here, draw here, come down here, around here, down to there. And then I want to draw something like this. Say draw is weird. Zoom up a little bit. I would like to be able to, you know, drag and just keep going if I wanted to, but sadly you can't. You can also clear it all and then just put this like this. So they're probably going to need to bring that actually up a little bit more. Like so, have this come out like so. There we go. Let's see if this will work. Pour it out. Everything go. Get down here. Get down here. Uh, gravity will allow this to flow up and then hopefully I'll go in there. We get the last few bits. There we go. And there you go. I mean, it's, it's, it does seem, you know, fairly practical, but it's like one of those things once you sort of learn the curves, you're going to get it pretty easy, in a sense. Until we come to, hmm, I think we're going to go with this one. You're going to see that it kind of adds up. This, portals, because portals. And you also have the fact you need to get this down here so it hits this button so it then allows this to unlock and you're just like what ha mm, ha your brain like i just so essentially this level has to fall to the point of working out where the portal goes because like this is there there to there there to there sort of thing but we need to actually unlock this first because you although for some reason i couldn't quite work out what this was used for it seemed like it like this was meant to be for a mixer like mixing sort of bloop together but it doesn't really seem to do that in this level like you had to end up getting this down to here you know getting that on and then duh, 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 there but I actually hate this level so I'm gonna quit the main menu I really really do hate that level I haven't done these ones so I'm tempted to do something new but what I'm gonna do is I'll do the elixir of hatred I, I would do that level but it did take me quite a long time to actually work out now this one allows me to show you the portals and there's a bit of gravity. So all this gravity, like that's shown that way, but gravity actually, because if I press this, it actually flows that way. So we want it to go up this way to get to that, this. We need to get it to unlock this, so which will then make that flow down this way. Seems easy. Nah, it's not. It's really not. But what we want to do is be able to get this and this together hmm see what I actually figured out though is like this game seems like by what I mean by more forgiving is like you can actually set this up and then once you unlock this you can create a different path which to be honest the only thing I've found is that you wouldn't be able to do this otherwise without doing that that's the only thing so I'm going to delete this just now and then we're going to bring this over here. And then bring this over here. Get these guys to go up here. Give us a goo. Keep going goo. Uh, there, ooh, 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 there we go. And basically we need to bring this down. We need to bring it down. We need to bring it down. We need to bring it down. Is it going to hit it? There we go. Now it gives us a new goo. So now I can then delete these. Create a little path. Like so. Have this create a path going like 
How do I want to do This is in the way, actually. I would reset. I had to create a path like this, then to here. And we shall create a path going. Oh. Oh. We do this. This should possibly work. It helps if that was in the right place. That's really not going to work, is it? Uh, it might. It might. It's getting stuck there, but come on, keep going. Alright, so we're flowing down here. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Go. Get you. There we go. Some in there. Nope. Come back this way. Go. 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 There we go. That's essentially what you're doing. But you can see how it vastly kind of differs each level. You're getting the, the portals added in, the gravity added in. I mean, mechanically wise, it's pretty similar to the previous one, but it's like got those nice little unique twists flung in. Plus, graphically, I really like the improvements. It's really, really nice. It looks better. It feels better. Reacts better. And obviously, the sound assets kind of, the bloop sounds are pretty much the same. And then you've got anything in the level to make an ending. But I haven't tried this one. I'm going to try this one. Just to, you know, before I round off the video. Let's try it. What? I just put, I'm missing a dragon. That, okay, so I take it we're going into here. Do we need to unlock the dragon and create the, what? These will pull and push the fluid. Place one in front of the pipe and the other in front of the jar. Remember, this is only a suggestion. So it one, and then here. Scroll up. Okay, puller. It will pull the fluid towards itself, most useful for making sharp turns. Try to use it to lead the fluid into to its jar. That blue, 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 wait, what? Blue and blue, okay. So I take it this is like a tester, like, you know, if we do that, that really doesn't work. What if I did that? Okay, what if I did that? Okay, what if I do that? Nope, do that. Nope. Ah, right, okay. Interesting. So, what if I did. No. What if I did that? No. Nope. What if I did that? That's gonna make it go down. What if I do that? Instead of. No. Okay, this. Nope. Okay. This needs to come over a little bit. That fills that up pretty much. I still can't get this one to work, but. So, am I meant to. Like, if I do that and that. Can I jump it across? Nope. Uh, nope. Okay, what if we do that? It just goes right through it. What? What if we do that, then? Ah, right. Okay, oh, okay. this is becoming a mess. If we do that, then that, that, and no. Okay. What if we do that then? Oh, almost. Oh, okay. And then, see, it's very sort of trial and error. Now, obviously, this is a new mechanic that wasn't in it before. What if I bring that up a bit? Then a bit. Oh, oh, no. Oh, okay. So if we try and get pusher, well, it will push the fluid. But I bet you didn't see that coming. Oh, don't need that. Wait, so... I can't actually click that now. So wait, that's going to push the fluid up. So if I was to do that... What if I just... Did this? Like... And you can actually push... Oh, so you can actively... Ah, right, I see. Do I have enough? No, not yet. Okay. Alright, so if we just bring this down here. I was thinking, you know, why don't I just do this? Like, if I was to then, and then make that flow it down the way. No, get it, get it, get it. 
Get in. Get in. There we go. Ah, okay. Intriguing. Intriguing. I like that mechanic. Unlock this. Can I do it now? No. Can I do this one yet? Yes, I can do that one, but I can't do that one. Interesting. But you can see there's quite a few levels anyway. And you've got this sort of level creator, which probably spawns some really crazy thing going on. Anyway, folks, this has been Bloop Reloaded. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've been enjoying what they've done. I mean, I love the just the new increase in everything. You know, visual fidelity is really good. Just mechanically, it seems a bit more refined. And I really like it. The Steam link is down below if you want to catch more. And I shall see you guys in the next one.